Okay, my outstanding friends, I have a shocker for you right now. Your scientists are lost. This is a muon neutrino. This is an electron neutrino. They come like this at CERN. When they concuss, the white one turns into showers, the black one turns into a muon. Well, we have done this and done it here for a lot less money than they're spending. And that is it right there. This is the black ball. It does not change. You see the black balls down here? Exact same black ball as here. They will not go through the Venturi because we tuned this Venturi to exactly the correct specifications to keep the black muons from being able to squish through here. This is exactly the way to create exactly what they want, which is the muons and the electron showers. Here they are right here. Now, if you can't see that, I don't know how I can help you. But let me show you how we arrived at this concussion and this separation of powers. And I claim that this black ball will never stay away from the white for more than an instant. And they missed this totally in the big labs. All right, red pulse laser red pulse laser accelerating yes absolutely light accelerates einstein was not correct light is a particle and it is a 2p2h particle which i'm going to show you right now because i just contacted cern and I, well i've contacted all, all of them but i just now am starting to write a book and i am going to confront all the people that just ignore what they should not ignore these are the people we're paying and we are the government paying them at brookhaven at fermi lab and all these places they're getting our money they don't care about this to look at this at all i've been told stay away we run this, and we are the ones making the money, so you just stay away from us, otherwise we're not going to make the money. Basically, that's what they're saying. Now, it, because it's going to hurt their funding, and that's why they won't address this, because this is, this is on the cheap, and I mean on the cheap. And we can have free energy literally tomorrow if these big stuff shirts would stop and say, oh, well, let's just take a look at what this guy is presenting. There's no question that is accelerating light, there's no question that the separation occurred between the black ball and the white balls, which is the muons and the electron neutrinos. These are the Higgs fields. We've got a lot of looking to do and to understand the light particles. They are particles. They have mass. They have weight. They travel through the air. They charge up and flip and flop and do wobbles. And here's the flip and flopping and wobbling. I've been doing this for a long time, I understand it quite well, and I want somebody to speak to me. There's the two P2H particles, two particles, two holes. Here they are charging up. Here's where the leader is charging because of its concussion. That creates the wobble. You see these are uneven? That's because this one's charging up, that one's discharging. When this fully charges, blip, and that one will start to charge. And blip, 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 blip. And that's what creates these unbelievable patterns. So check these patterns out in the Higgs fields. Let's see, where's the Higgs? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Well, here's some Higgs on the move. Here's their coming at us. You see this one here got squished. It turned it into a cone and turned it purple or blue where they're supposed to be red. But blue is a much more energetic value. And it did. It changed colors. That is, I have a hard time explaining some of this stuff. Because if the particle started as the same particle, which it is, all the photons are the same actual photon. If they're going fast, they turn green and then blue. If they're going fairly slow, they're the red ones. You see these are flat and that one is all cone shaped out. Well, that's, and this one is a little less cone shaped. That's just the speed. This is not coming fast. This one's going faster than hell. This one's in the middle. And the green is, is a little less than that. So there's a lot to look at here, but the, the photons do not separate for, I mean, the uh, muons come right back. You see them? They're coming right back. But they're all over the same ball they started with. They do not change. And that's exactly what Fermilab says. Here it is right there. They're coming back. This is just like a bazillionth of an inch away from the, from the uh, Venturi. And they are starting to come back right here. I'm, I don't think these balls will stay away and just keep going forever through the earth. They're trying to get back to these white balls as hard as they can. And that is the gravitational influence of the muon. So, I have just shown you what I have to present. Now, let's see how the experts will respond, because they have not responded, and they tell me they will not respond. We will not respond to you. 
because you are not peer reviewed. This is what I've been told by Fermi Lab. We will not respond. We will not take any time whatsoever to look at what you have. Those were the exact words. We won't spend one minute to look at what you have to to show us because you're not peer reviewed. To them, this is a game, not a game to me. Okay, my outstanding friends, this is how I'm going to handle it going forward. I am going to be writing a book, and I am going to be contacting everybody that I feel should be interested in the research that I'm doing and see what kind of responses we get. And then if they, if they don't respond, well, then they don't respond. But I'm going to call out the names, and these are the people that I just sent to. There's a whole batch of them here. Uh, uh, from, uh, it's about this cold fusion and the 2P2H particles, which they saw, and these are the people that saw them. I'm sending them saying, look at my 2P2H particles. All right, there's a 2P2H particle right there. The two P's, the two H's, particles, holes. Now, and I show how we got them and how we accelerated the light, and CERN wanted to see exactly what we have, the muon neutrino, electron neutrino, the showers, and uh, so forth, exactly what I had presented. And, um, you know, it's, it's pretty thorough about this. I, I would expect some questions. Let me put it that way. So, but I am going to hold these people's feet to the fire because I, I realize nobody will respond because they just don't care. And, and uh, maybe these people do, but we'll find out. It's been only a day. I just put this up a day ago. But I'm going to put this up. I mean, they're going to be in my book, and how they respond is how they respond, and who they are is who they are, and who I am is who I am. Now, I said best to all. I'm very brief. I will be. We used pulse lasers, a simple venturi, to do these experiments. We started with light, so no big bits, no big particles. We used CMOS, which is what they use to detect high energy interactions, subatomic scale, like cosmic rays. And this is it right here. They turn smartphones into pocket cosmic ray detectors. So that shows that this is total, and this is exact same stuff they're using for CERN, identical. The result. Light photons appear to be particles, which I show. The particles are dipoles, which I show are black and white balls attached in pairs, which is the 2P2H particles, exactly what they saw. This article shows that you saw the 2P2H particles years ago. Your words were understanding of the so-called 2 particle two hole 2P2H effect is an urgent program urgent program in neutrino interactions, interaction physics, for current and future oscillation experiments. Such processes are believed to be responsible for the event excesses, increased energy observed by recent neutrino experiments. And here is their paper on this. All right. The 2P2H pro. This is Cornell. So we know we, we have that. And that was, that's their words. So I say, I think we crush the fields and only the white electron neutrinos change into a shower. But the black ball, the muon, does not change. It is simply attractive and it's gravity and it is dark matter. When the black ball is away from the white showers, it is the sterile neutrino. That's the one they're looking for. And here is their part of their paper on that. And it is the dark matter. Here's their paper on this. All right, sterile neutrino dark matter. All right, and that's what I show is the sterile neutrino dark matter. And that's when the black ball gets away from the white ball. And that is in these showers here somewhere. Maybe I showed them in the next one, but um, where is it? Well, the showers and the white, the black ball. Let's see, is it in this one? There it is. All right, there's two of them both together. The black balls are these, the muons. They come from muon neutrinos, which is the black and white balls attached together. I showed, I know I showed that before. And here is when they concuss, they separate, fission, fusion. Now, so let's see what Cornell and Brookhaven have to say, because those are the people I sent it to.
And uh, this is the particle. This is the Higgs fields. This is um, a batch of particles, you know, showing the blue light accelerating and slowing down, showing the particles, showing the Higgs field, showing the acceleration. <laughs> this right here, that one. That right there, I have no clue about. That, I believe, was a reverse spinner. But anyway, there's a lot to see here. This is not just a one-off thing. So I said, I sent them this a second time. I said, well, you know, I figure I'd give them my background just to be sure they understood. I do atomic physics. I was in the Army and nuclear things and then the chemistry, electronics in the private sector. Now, I want to get free energy. I have a design, but no resources. I'd like you to prove me wrong or right, one way or the other. These are the people that do this. This is Brookhaven. These are national. We pay for this. I want them to show me I'm wrong. If I'm right, it makes a hell of a big difference. The bottom line is we can possibly harvest excess energy right at the venturi with a solar panel made of these perscovites. And I show what these new perscovite things are. And they're new solar collector panels that are made of um, of different types of um, metals, really. You know, they're using calcium, titanium oxides, and so forth, and galenium and all that. But there is a, I think there's a, a, a whole different way of absorbing this energy where we can be extremely, you know, efficient. And then I show the Majorna electrons, which I believe is the same as these. I mean, I'm showing everything they're looking for. These are all that. That's not my doodle. That's their doodle. And um, this is light spinning and creating the what they call interference patterns, but they're not. They're repulsion patterns. This is a single slit, and it shows that light spins. It doesn't flap like a wave. It spins just like this. The particles right at the tip. Zip, 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 zip. Some go that way, some go this way. But they just want to stay away from each other, so they create these lines. And um, and this is the red and the green at the same time coming through the venture. I'm sending them all this stuff. Now, I would expect at least a question. And... Um, so far, I've never gotten one qu not, not one question from anybody. All they do is say, leave it to us. We know what we're doing. You're just a meatball. You're just a guy who has no clue what he's doing. And uh, that's just not the case. I have been doing this I, much longer than most of them. Much longer than most of them have been breathing oxygen. <laughs> so let's see what they have to say. This is Cornell. This is Brookhaven. I've already had a up against the wall with Fermilab, but they're going to be included in this book as well. And there's going to be names, and there's going to be people talked about that this is how they responded. Did they have any interest whatsoever? Are they just spending money to to keep their job secure and, and they don't care about any outcomes? If this is real, and what I'm showing is real, I'm almost 100% certain. Well, I can see that the increase in energy is exponential. And I show you the part of what they want. They want the muons of electron neutrinos. If I'm right, we can get free energy with this. And this is the new electron flood theory model. It's, it takes every, all the mystery away, but it really upsets them. I mean, it upsets them something terrible. All right, the reason I'm so passionate about it is this because we can get free energy literally today. Lasers a dime a dozen. Venturi, all it has to do is be tuned and, and constructed and manufactured. Very, very simple. Very cheap. Solar collectors available now, but they can be improved upon. And this is all we're doing is harvesting this extreme amount of energy right here. This is exactly what CERN wants to see, Fermilab, Brookhaven, all of them talking about the same stuff, Cornell. And I would like to be involved in this. Why can't I be involved? Just because I'm not peer-reviewed? I'm not going to accept that. And we should have some congressional investigation about this. We're paying these people this money. I think it's just a total drain on resources strictly they, they were talking i have 2500 people there whoa this is a huge economic absolutely it's a huge economic gain for you people walking around in circles don't care about truth why should you care about it when we're pouring money into your pockets and you don't care to to help humanity that's what i see i see no interest whatsoever except self 
interest in our educational system. Academia has gotten way astray from their mission of truth. Now it's a denialist system. Crush anybody that says anything. Let's just keep the money flowing. That's the truth now.